hey guys it's lena from the land of gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of libra sun moon rising and venus this is for the month of october but please do remember time is fluid so whatever is being said here might have already happened you are in the middle of it or is gonna happen on who knows it's already happened some time back and you know you are kind of recovering from that or this is not at all your energy and of a loved one who's been on your mind so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive by the way i'm sorry for the frog voice that you hear i have a bad cough along with some fever but a friend of mine really inspired me and said lena keep keep this on keep it going so here i am with a bottle of water so i'm already apologizing in case I f if i land up coughing in between your reading so one more and we are ready librans let us see what october has for us there we go let us start spirit what's the energy we are starting off october for my librans a new beginning of sorts Ooh, planning queen of swords is a very very determined energy very no-nonsense energy and right now it seems like she is sitting taking a time out to plan a journey further there is a journey coming up or you are already on a way to something new so please see how this resonates for you guys because i see some who are already on some kind of a journey they you know kick started it but to plan further like how to take it further is what needs to be planned for some it's that first step that needs to be taken yeah let's go let's give us some more what do we have ten of cups beautiful energy right here whatever you are doing whatever you are kickstarting or whatever you have kickstarted and now you are at you know level two let's say <laughs> it's bringing you quite a lot of joy you're happy doing this whatever new that you have taken up and it's kind of letting you leave the past behind in some ways uh, peacefully there was something in the past that uh, you are letting go of and it gives you kind of a sense of relief from the pain look getting out from the pain yeah moving away like i'm not exaggerating look the, look at this six of swords three of swords eight of cups you are walking away from this pain and whatever this new is is bringing you some sort of relief a sense of relief a sense of peace walking away from devil Ooh, some people are walking away from unhealthy habits i hear some people are walking away from unhealthy relationships i hear and some people are walking away from unhealthy situations like you know being in a, a in an office with very toxic environment or a toxic uh, manager or somebody so it could be either or all of them that to deal with this toxic environment externally you started using substance and now you are walking away from all of it because it brought you a lot of pain and this new beginning has helped you in some ways to find that peace and it's bringing you a lot of joy give us some more for this joy part what is this new happy thing that's happening look it's it's giving you that sense of control over yourself you feel that you are back in control though we are we are never controlling anything guys it's the spirit it's it's our it's our destiny so to say but you know what i mean 
you feel that you are not just you know being drifted like that dead log in a very very strong current of a river or something like that that you can see a waterfall in front of you you know you're going to crash but you cannot do anything about it you are coming out of that feeling there was this feeling earlier not anymore not anymore yeah yeah there is something new this whatever new that has come up guys that level one level two start up kick start whatever that is has really given you uh in some ways for some purpose for some this is getting back to life especially for those who are getting out of some kind of sub substance abuse uh, a kind of unhealthy habit even doing nothing and you know being a couch potato is also uh, you know an unhealthy habit you're not really doing anything for yourself but finally getting off that couch this new whatever has given you that passion inside it's given you that drive to do that for yourself yeah you were not feeling this drive earlier but you, now you are this new idea this whatever new and that's the reason you are investing your time and energy in planning further because you want to keep going on this path you want to some people were not in a in a good place mentally i would say but healing is coming your way happiness is coming your way i see star and i see nine of cups yeah your angels are definitely around you guys i see hope i see healing you walking away you taking that charge you taking that call of walking away from this devil from this pain towards that peace towards that new path has given you a lot of hope and happiness Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, that's a lot of happiness. And for some, this could also be that whatever new, as I said, startup, whatever it is, might as well going to bring you a lot of money and probably something that you've always thought of doing. Now you're doing it, you know, finally out of that phase and into a new beautiful beginning. And it's all happening suddenly, suddenly an idea comes up. A tower moment happened in life that has pushed you to do this a tower moment definitely happened look i see the king of swords and the queen of swords both you know kind of sitting on like a cliff planning i see a crow here i see a crow there as well yeah you are just trying to get in tune and listen to your higher self listen to your your guardians to show you the way you are planning for sure to move further how what leave it on the on the spiritual realm on the spirit guides in some ways you have that's the reason you have found this piece. Let us clarify, guys. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. There's a sense of coldness that I feel here. Look, Five of Swords. Whatever this separation was or whatever from where you are moving away from that got, gave you so much of pain, uh, that wasn't an easy exit. It wasn't an amicable exit there was um conflict there was clash there was fight there were fights i hear you did not want them but you had to you know and there came a time where you had to be as cold as that queen and just you know slice it off i see queen of swords sitting looking in this direction queen king of swords looking in that direction so clearly people are parting ways here but not amicably 
three of wands page of cups look there is something new i'm telling you there is a new news coming in there is something new that's really getting you going and you really want to take this up and it's bringing you so much of happiness just the idea itself and it's bringing you clarity as well as to where you want to head to ace of swords there with that ten of cups yeah nine of sorry why did i say nine of six of swords that's yeah something came to an end something somebody parted ways and it was tough as i said there were fights but something has come to an end and you have made peace with it i do not know whether the other person has or not but you have you have accepted it you did yeah king of cups with empress oh my god with three of swords ouchie ouch whatever this was that brought you pain that was actually quite beautiful that you had it just somehow turned sour that's the reason why you feel so much of pain here but the acceptance is there whatever that you had to walk away from definitely brought you quite a lot of happiness and walking away from it was tough because it kept luring you in like that devil see again it brought you happiness but was it a healthy situation to be in was it just love bombing or was it like a true bond where people cared about each other is my question let us go to the queen of pentacles feeling in control of your life sitting in your driver's seat in your car so let's see yeah look at that page of wands three of cups and the high priestess as i said you are trying to connect with your spiritual guides right you are letting your intuition take you towards this new beginning whatever that newness that's coming in page of wands page of cups that is making your heart uh sing along <laughs> you know and seems like your friends are very happy for you those who care about you are very happy for you as to what you are doing and probably there would be celebrations coming in i mean some of you are gonna have your birthdays so clearly happy birthday to all those who have their birthdays in october and celebrations are coming in yeah so on one hand we see there's something beautiful coming up something that's giving you joy and fun but there's on other hand that you are dealing with something i mean life is like that you know you it's not always rainbow and roses and it's always not crappy sometimes you're dealing with crap and good things at the same time this is where i feel that you are doing that two of swords but this whatever heaviness is is making you somehow doubt why give me some more for this knight of cups why are you letting this whatever is going on dampen your enthusiasm because somehow somewhere it pinches you oh yo yo yeah this could be a third party situation for someone somebody got cheated upon i feel probably that is the reason why it's it's been beautiful because you did not know what's going on behind your back and it just happened that tower moment happened suddenly and you're trying to figure things out eight of pentacles and now what you are trying to do is work on your foundations yes but somehow with a wee bit less enthusiasm i feel because of you know what happened earlier 
it's like you know people say after their first love or their first heartbreak they are not able to love as unconditionally and fully as they had the first time something like that so you are taking it up you're very happy it's bringing you a lot of happiness it's bringing you you know reasons to celebrate and you're focused on your you know long term clearly but there is that tiny little thing that's poking in your heart hangman with that eight of cups you took your time it took you long you were in a limbo to let go of this how to let go of this not when you knew that you want to but how to because this devil was not letting you this devil was not letting you yeah look this devil was love bombing you all the time knight of cups again this devil was you know doing everything in his power or her power who knows you know uh please don't go on the gender that i am i just refer to the card and that's it otherwise energies are gender neutral so it could be a, a woman trying to woo you and keep trying to keep you in this whatever loving yet not healthy relationship you know what i mean that those are the toughest to break through from because it's like the moment you feel that you need to get out of it they love bomb the shit out of you they give you so much you're like oh my god was i ready to walk out on this but then as soon as you are you know back in your comfort zone the shit starts again it's like stepping out of your comfort zone you need, you 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 got to you you have to and you did and you feel good but you just also being very very focused on not slipping back in and probably that's the reason that little coldness is coming in the star please clarify the star spirit the star queen of wands wow so many so many queens here we have the queen of swords we have the queen of pentacles now we have the queen of wands yeah somebody definitely came in for some it feels like somebody is coming in and that is the reason why you are hesitant you are so focused on your foundations you are hesitant whether you should you know fully give yourself to this queen of wands this queen of wands does not feel like your energy but this queen of wands whosoever this energy is it's an external energy coming into the scene has brought in a lot of hope has brought in a lot of positive vibes in this rather intense i would not say negative but very intense energy it is because there's a lot of good that is happening but there is a lot of intense energies also that you are dealing with there are endings here there are conflicts here there are unhealthy behavior patterns here whether it's yours or combined of others and yours and the situation all of that no 9 of cups with the king of wands oh my god look at that queen of wands followed by the king of wands with the 9 of cups dreams coming true for some and you are hesitant you are hesitant to give it your all because you're so focused on your foundations you're like i don't want to screw this opportunity this time i just don't want to i really want to focus on my you know future but someone is being hit by some very very intense strong attraction i feel here very and it's coming out of nowhere tower so the tower moment it's just funny how it's placed you know it's placed to complete the circle so some crazy tower moment happened here which is kind of ending you know something came crashing down you are accepting it moving away there is pain but the acceptance is there all of that 
then there is something new that's unfolding itself and something you know very tickly tinkling feeling that's coming up but you are cold shouldering it because you are scared and it's come up from nowhere it feels like and that's why you're like you know once burned twice shy something like that yeah two of pentacles yeah yeah you are confused you're like i don't know what what, what what am i supposed to do with this like i've got this new beginning to take care of i have to focus on my future i have to work on this you know and and then boom this 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 connection is coming out of nowhere lots happening lots happening here and moon ooh emotions are involved there are things which are right now on the surface level there is something definitely that you don't really know where things are heading as such as i said it's a kickstart of things it's a kickstart of things here as well this seems to be a connection that is bringing a lot of hope and uh, a lot of desires coming out of the box that you thought you have shut for a very long time and forgot the keys but it somehow has opened up how you don't know that's left you confused and now you have to deal with all of these things yeah life sometimes throws many googly balls at the same time at you and you are gonna deal with it but somehow you feel in control of some things and some things are hitting you out of nowhere <laughs> if that's making any sense to you all right let's get to an oracle guidance message to wrap up this reading for you my librans final guidance message spirit for my librans for the spread in front of us okay this one okay appreciation appreciate what you have what you have gone through how far you have come from you know where you started and how far you have come and you will have more to be grateful for you know if you are being grateful right now for what you have that's what i'm getting immediately from this let's read what the card actually has to say choosing gratitude oh it is about gratitude this card shows a woman holding a single red rose she enjoys the scent and beauty of the single blossom yet around and behind her are bramble bushes she could be focusing on these worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches of difficulty instead she's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower i'm taken to the star the blessing along with the queen of wands and the king of wands and the nine of cups there like this space right here in your spread count your blessing and appreciate that something nice is coming your way don't just shrug it off you know i'm focusing right now on something else i don't have time for this make time okay <laughs> make time to have a little fun don't be so grumpy and so serious about things na <clears throat> The sun is breaking through the clouds shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open up. This card of pride is telling you that you have much to be grateful for and the like exactly this is exactly what I felt when I held this card that there's this to be grateful for. and like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card there is more to come that you can't yet see look there is more to come that you can't see yes it's just the beginning of something beautiful and something look it's just i just love it when when spirit does that you know it's just an amalgamation of the entire reading in one card all of this is happening at the same time in your life yes something has come to an end something has died something has been painful and something is still blooming and something to be grateful for there's so much going on in the single card here wow congratulate yourself 
for every moment that you chose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and it's guaranteed to bring more worth and richness of life to you. What a beautiful way to wrap this reading up, Librans. Be grateful so you have more to be grateful for. On that beautiful note, I'm going to take your leave. I thank you all for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.